Hi, welcome back. I'm Stephanie Sullivan Ruiz. We've been talking about HTML5 and native video, and we've got it working everywhere except Internet Explorer. So right now I want to take you into the realm of Flash as a fallback. That's one way we can actually do this. We're going to look at several. So let's go back to Dreamweaver. You'll see we've got our video tag. We've got three sources. We've got our H.264, WebM, and AUG. So we've, we're playing everywhere except IE. So at this point, in this little section where you can add any fallback content, I'm going to take out the part that says your device doesn't support the video. And remember, we took out our poster attribute last time. And we're going to add those things back in, in another way. So I'm actually going to take my snippet here and insert it. This is just so that we don't have to do a messy insertion and a flash. And you can actually insert flash in any way. If you like to put it in using Swift Object or whatever your company uses, that's fine. I'm doing it very simply right now. So you'll notice I've added in the object tag. I've got the data. I've got to have this data attribute with the path to the Swift for Firefox. And then I've got a parameter here that also has the path as well for the other browsers. And then what I want to add, this is the area in Flash that I can add a fallback attribute within Flash. So in that area, I'm going to go ahead and add my poster attribute back as an image. Notice I've got the same path to the image I had before. I've got an alt attribute that says Elvis Costello Live, because if that shows up, I do want the accessibility advantage of having that alt attribute. And then I've got a title that will show up for people that says, no video playback capabilities. Please download the video below. Now, why would I say download the video? Because right here, I'm actually going to provide a list of my videos for anyone that can't play it in this variety of ways so that they can actually download the video. What you say, I don't want to give my video away. Well, some people don't. And if so, native video is not for you because native video has no DRM. You are essentially providing the video to anyone that wants it, and that's okay. I have clients that love giving away their videos. They see it as a marketing tool. So for many people, Native video is a quick way and a simple way to provide this content to anyone that wants it. Simple if you don't think about the fact that you've got to encode it in multiple, multiple ways. We hope that will be sorted soon. But this is basically what we need to do in order to make this work in Internet Explorer. Now, if I went to Browser Lab, you would see that Internet Explorer now has the nice flash playback, and everyone else is using the native. Now, if you want to do this more simply, there is a new widget within Widget Browser. And if you're not familiar with that, you can actually get there uh, within Dreamweaver. It's a standalone. I've got it open right here. I've got a few widgets saved within the Widget Browser that I like. And one of those is actually the HTML5 video player that was adapted from Kaltura. And you'll notice that I have the ability to see the live view of my video player. I can see what the code looks like right here in the widget browser. And I've saved a few little presets that I kind of like. Um, this one is dark. I've got a nice bright green one. But all of these are using jQuery. And what this widget uh, will actually do is decide which version of the video should be played for the user device that hits your page. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm not going to show you how to configure. You can go in and play with this. But I'm going to go into Dreamweaver, and I'm simply going to insert my widget. And Dreamweaver will give me a list that I can choose from. I'm going to say I want my HTML5 video player, and I want to use the one that I call Darkhive. And I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to have all of these posters and source files preloaded with things that are from Kaltura's examples. You don't want to leave these. It's uh, something about elephants dreaming. That's probably not what you want to show. So you just need to change those source files. You'll also notice it adds a lot here in the head of the document that accesses jQuery and the CSS needed to make this happen. Now, I'm not going to take the time right now to go ahead and change the source. Let me switch over to this one where I've already attached the source files for Elvis. 
we've got those here. So what I want to do now is preview it very quickly. Let's go to Firefox and have a look. Now notice um, I've got this big, big go button here and that my controls only show when I actually hover. So that's one of the things that the Kaltura player does. Let's look in Safari because remember, we had a different look with the browser Chrome in each of our different browsers before. And as soon as this loads, you'll notice this is exactly the same experience. So using a video player, and there are several around, can actually give you the ability to give a similar experience across browsers for branding, etc. If you're familiar with the jQuery UI, um, you'll find that you can match your video player to those jQuery UI themes that are already created. Okay, so we're going to talk next time about a couple other ways that we can embed this video, uh, depending on the needs of your company and the different ways that you want to encode. Until then, I've got HTML5 and CSS3 resources on my website, or you can follow me on Twitter at Steph Soul. See you next time.